Hello, good evening. This is the third attempt at me shooting this video. And it, this is day two of the 30 day video challenge. The idea is you have to make 30 videos a day nonstop. So I was inspired by several other YouTubers. And so day two, let's get it going. So what am I gonna talk about? Well, I want to talk a little bit about my job. Now, as you already know, and as I have mentioned before, I work in a foreign country, and that country is Japan. Now, my employment, by the way, this suit I'm wearing is obviously for my job. I don't dress up for these videos. <laughs> uh, in fact, I basically get off work, I eat dinner, and then I shoot a video. So that's pretty much how that works and hence the reason why I'm wearing this. But in any case, I am a teacher now. And I have been a teacher coming up on a considerable amount of time. I think I started last year, last April. Yeah, so, you know, it's starting a new year as far as the Japanese school schedule is concerned. And uh, it's been interesting. And how I got this job was I just went online and I started looking for opportunities to teach or opportunities to work in Japan. Because at first, I only thought that there, there was, it was the JET program. And if you didn't get accepted to the JET program, then therefore you wouldn't be able to go to Japan. But I was mistaken. There are absolutely a lot of opportunities to come live here and work here if you so fancy it. And I'm actually doing both. I'm living here and working here and earning a steady income here. Now, how did I do that? Well, like I said, I went online and I just started researching different ways to study here. So I went on different websites, different things, and I went to, I think, Glassdoor as well to check out reviews of some of these companies. And uh, just kind of getting my feet wet and trying to figure out, well, what do I want to do and these things. So today's video, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about mindset and how mindset led me to the job that I have now. Okay, so at first, I was blind firing. I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know I was going to get any sort of opportunity to live and work here. But I told myself that you just have to just keep going and keep applying and keep doing things until you get a yes. And so I just kept applying. I didn't worry about how many applications I sent in. I didn't worry about uh, timing and strategies and these things. I just hit the pavement and just started applying. And so I think that's a significant idea there is just keep applying, keep finding. If you can't get, if you don't get a call back, if you don't get any response, don't let that discourage you. In fact, that should encourage you because if you don't get one opportunity, there's always another opportunity and there's always an even better one than what you wanted originally. And that's the way I've always kind of viewed it. So in any case, I just kept applying and then I found a position that I thought was interesting. The pay was nice. 
the, the, the whole setup felt nice. And so next, next was that I wanted a location that was, you know, somewhat ideal. Now, for a lot of these companies, you can put in a preference for where you want to stay or, you know, what area you want to be in. However, you may not get exactly what you want. So, for example, if you want to work in like Tokyo, apparently that's a really highly sought after position. So that's not to say that you won't get an opportunity, but you might have to compete with more, uh, well, compete with other applicants who are interested in working in Tokyo as well. Because, I mean, think about it. When you think of Japan, what do you think of? You think of Tokyo. You think, um, yeah, Tokyo. <laughs> so take that into consideration. Shouldn't discourage you, but include that variable into your job hunt. Now, for me, I put in my preference and I was flown out for an interview. And basically, at this interview, I just, it came to the point where I said, look, I want this location and if, if I don't get it, then you know, thank you for your time. And so I think the walking, the being able to walk away from an opportunity kind of helped me get it. Now, let me explain. So there's a book that I've been reading recently, and it's, uh, it's quite interesting. And one of the tenets of this book is called The Abundance Mentality. I'll link the book down in the notes below. But the book talks about abundance mentality. It talks about being able to see the world not as a scarce commodity, but being able to recognize the infinite possibilities out there. And that way of thinking has helped me immensely. Because you get the pressure, there's a lot of pressure to, you know, perform, a lot of pressure to do things, make moves, the, this thing and that thing. But if you look at it from the perspective of, okay, let's say I want this goal. I don't get it at first. That's fine. I can get something either even better than what I want, or maybe right now, it's maybe not, maybe I can't get this right now, but who's to say I can't get it later? And so that's the way I've always approached things now, is through an abundance mentality. And it's, that is something that is truly invaluable. Invaluable. Absolutely. So I would say take that approach and apply it to trying to find work in Japan. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of companies out there. If you don't give up, you will work at one of them. Doesn't matter. Bottom line. So, now, you do need some prerequisites. Like, for example, me, I have a degree. Well, two. I have two, and, you know, I had some experience in these things, right? So, preferably, it would be nice for you to have a uh, university degree, right? But who's to say that without one, you can't get a position? I mean, I've met people who do not have a degree, and here they are. They're working, and they're living their lives. So I can only speak from the perspective of someone who has a degree, right? And so with that, I'd say just go out there and just push it. To go out there and just make moves because you never know. You never know. Uh, I will write down some of the companies here at the in the description of where you can apply, and you know just start there. Start there, and then I'll post some links of other places. So if you are interested in 
doing, um, changing your life, or if you're interested in getting a new perspective, or you know, challenging yourself, whatever the case may be, and I can help you, or this video can help you in any way, I would be more than happy to do so. So, day two of the video challenge, basically abundance mentality. See things, see possibilities as infinite, not as scarce, and just persevere, never give up. Don't ever give up, just keep moving. There's no such thing as failure, it's just you trying to figure out what you need to do next. So that's the video for today, day two of the video challenge. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all soon. So, what's got a summer this?